This is in the other side of the 843 barrier pack and what you have here. This is your oil filler cap for your hydraulic fluid in there. Put that back on. You have your pump unit, motor in there, there's a motor, brushes you can access inside there, and then you have your hydraulic piston that lifts up here via these four nuts. The um, barrier up itself, your main shaft of the barrier. This is an earth strap because obviously these are made, you can go near overheads, so obviously the main boom has to be earth to the ground. You also have a ground stud earth as well down there, this one's not used. And you have your terminal blocks for your incoming cables, improving and wires, etc. There are various greasing points in here you can get at as well. Not these little grease bits, put them back on. And one thing to note is you've got some um, locking after you've put lock the nuts in, you put your tab washers around so they can't come undone again. Undone again. Com box is mounted off there on the side you've just seen. And the door lock mechanism there, just off the back of the key lock itself. So on the back of the pump handle, when you lift the pump handle out, the main, main shaft of the pump handle, it lets this little armature up, which breaks this small piston down here, releases in that valve, and that allows the barriers to drop. So as soon as you pull the pump handle out, the barriers will start to drop, so you've got to be careful off. You can control them down by allowing the pump handle in slowly. So in and out will allow it to drop slowly. So no, these, no. these are your motor brush contacts. You can get them off by hand. We've got a grip round, also got a screwdriver socket, same as clam locks. Uh, minimum brush length here is shown as seven millimeters. Spring loaded, much the same way as a clamp lock. Check the colour of it. Make sure it's all good. These are all the counterbalance weights you add onto the outside there. Obviously, if you don't have counterbalance weights, when it goes down, it'll whack the floor. And you'll have an adjuster here that you can adjust to go up and down on it as well. And this is your inclinometer on the side, so you can set your contacts inside, so they all work at the correct angle. And you can see anything over 83 degrees, and it's up in the up position. And you can use that to set it. Also, one thing that's hidden around the back there, you can't really see. This cable going out here is your road lamps. And also, you have your snap-off boom detection which is on this one a micro switch hidden in there um, these valve nuts here which holds your boom this boom on they, if anything hits this and shears this off you snap the valve nuts this pops off your boom falls off and it breaks your displacement detection in there on the old barriers and the western region barriers this used to be a wire all the way up here at one time and that would uh, would shear off, but uh, no guarantee the wire would shear off, of course. So it changed now for a micro switch in there. Contact box that drives the motor itself is attached to a very short arm. Um, this is a Fielder Grant Type R. Contact box with a short arm on it. And then that attaches into a loss motion pivot, which attaches to the actual arm itself. So as it goes up, it doesn't drive the contact directly, it has loss motion in it. And then you also have a few other things. You have your pump handle, which is accessed from the maintenance side. You have to pull the handle out, and then you can start pumping it. It drops down into this slot, starts acting on this piston. Um, it pumps up very jerkily when you're doing it, and you have the uh, back piston. So when the arm comes down, it takes some of the shock off it. And finally, the sacrificial plastic pad, which also gets a bit of wear in it off the piston itself. This is the up proving contacts. The down proving contacts, the red light contacts, and the motor relay in the down position. So here we're going up this time. So the monster contact is engaged. Down proving broken. Lights go out. Get the up indication and then the motor should cut off. 